Hi guys, this is Adam Walls, and today we have a new video. As you can see by the title of the video, it is a very good one. Um, it's a topic that I that I'm that I'm scared to talk about, um, and it, it's a topic that can make very um, aspiring or current pilots very uncomfortable. It's the fact that will computers take over the role as pilots? It's something that within the near foreseeable future that um, you know you could arguably say is is a impending us, you know, it is happening, but it's happening at a slow rate right now. If you go back, you know, 30 years ago, for example, um, you know, when they're flying the classic 737s, the aircraft were, were, were much less technical than what they are today. The, the innovation that the aircraft have gone through over the past, even the past decade, has been absolutely missed, but I can't even say that word, <laughs> it's been absolutely tremendous. You know, the rate of, um, how complex these aircrafts are getting and how quick it's happening it can be rather frightening and it, it can make a lot of pilots feel very uncomfortable so today guys I've got a simple video where I'm going to go through everything that's good and everything that's bad for uh, for pilots basically getting removed from essentially what is their job so in the meantime guys let's get right into it So the first things I've got is for pilots basically getting kicked out the fucking job and basically put on the street, and that's the aircraft. You know, as a fact, are becoming more automated. Therefore, they are becoming more safe. If you look at Airbus, Boeing, CRJ, you know, any or Bombardier rather, not CRJ, that every company um, has adopted this this scheme of making aircraft more complex. Well, it's reducing the the requirement and the role for pilots. Now, as sad as this seems, that it is so true. You know, if you look at the LNAV feature, look at this. What I've got right now. Have a look on my screen. All this is automated. The climbing, the speed, it's all automated. Um, 40 years ago, this would seem like some sort of impossibility. It would seem like this would be completely impossible. I'm pretty much not doing anything. I am flying an aircraft right now while making a video. It is that easy. I know I'm saying that sitting on my ass at a computer screen, but you do get the gist of the thing. Flying an aircraft has got immensely... Um, less difficult. Let's be completely honest here. Another thing is that um, it would save me a lot of money. It would save a lot of money um, for the pilots paying for their training and it would also save a lot of companies you know, paying big money to pilots because pilots are in general in the world well paid. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of captains get over a hundred grand a year. Think of many captains you know there is in the world. It's going to save companies a lot of money. Um, it, it's a known fact that autopilots do perform better than pilots. Um, in terms of you know accuracy when flying, you know predicting things. They predict uh, the autopilot predicts things such as you know the pitch, for example. It knows for me to reach 280 knots that I must be at a 1.8 degrees pitch. It's stuff like that, um, and it. I don't need to speak too much about, you know, the calculations the autopilot made. It's obviously more accurate than what a, than what a you know, a real human pilot can, uh, can do it. Another thing that uh, is deeply important, that the autopilot does not get distracted or fatigued. Pilot fatigue in the world is a massive problem. You know, there's absolutely no doubt about that. Um, pilots with zero hour contracts can get very... Um, can get some very harsh hours, you know, where they've got to camp out and sleep in shitty little bed and breakfasts, and uh, it's not great. It really isn't great. A lot of them are fatigued, um, therefore they can't perform their their job um, as well as they normally could have. And also, the autopilot does not get distracted. Pilots, not pilots, but humans are very. Um, <laughs> our attention span is not fantastic. We do seem to get distracted. And when you're, you know, flying a commercial airliner with hundreds of people behind you, that's something that cannot happen. An autopilot will ensure that there is no distraction uh, or pilot fatigue within the flight deck. Thus, you would think creating a, a, a safer environment. On a deeper note, um, if a computer is in charge of the plane, it completely eliminates the possibility of a pilot suicide, um, which obviously from the recent German wings crash, um, has basically alerted all around the world and the potential 
pilot suicide of the Malaysian um, airliner that went missing, and of course hijacks. If there, I mean, if there uh, is a, if there's a computer at the front of the flight deck, a hijacker being on the aircraft is not going to be able to instruct the, the aircraft where to go. That's assuming the aircraft is controlled a from either on the ground or um, programmed in some way. I'm not too sure how it would work. Um, however, that would, in theory, prevent hijacks and pilot suicides. Now, this is the flip side of the video. This is where I'm going to go through basically why it would be a bad thing, why it would be a bad idea to um, to basically get rid of pilots. And it's a it's a very simple thing. Um, but let me just sort my route out very quickly, guys, before I go into the uh, into more detail. Let's figure this out. Hold on guys, sorry about this. Right, now let's get right into it. Um, I think it could be a bad idea. Um, completely removing pilots for, you know, a, a vast number of reasons. You know, one of the reasons being that um, computers fail. And that's the harsh reality of it. Computers and technology in general can be very unreliable. You know, as fantastic as they are, sometimes they do fail. Sometimes they do, they, they do not work as uh, as expected, which is a very, very big problem if that computer is in charge of a commercial airliner. Now, obviously, this is you know one of the main arguments between why this is such a bad idea of removing pilots. Um, you know, Another argument would be that it's going to put a lot of pilots out of a job. You know, pilots that you know potentially could have um, 60, 70,000 pounds of debt behind their backs if, for some reason, if the if the requirement for a pilot is severely affected, a lot of pilots are going to be landed without a job, with a useless license and in debt. That's going to affect the economy greatly, and you never know what it could do to the economy. It could damage it um, greatly. Pilots provide comfort for passengers, especially ones who have a fear of flying. Knowing that it's a human at the front of the aircraft that can comfort a lot of people. Um, I, I know it's, it's as simple as that. The fact that a ca someone non-human is flying an aircraft essentially in control of your life can make people feel a little bit uncomfortable. Talking about it, it kind of makes me freak out a little bit. But uh, it's the very nature of it. Pilots do comfort people. Um, just the fact that you know, uh, you know it's a human at the front and a human is in control of your life. You'd much rather a human be in control of your life than a computer you pretty much know nothing about. Pilots can think outside the box. A computer can't. A computer can only do what it's instructed to do. Now, um, the, the, the good thing about humans is well, you know, we as humans have flexibility within us. We can think outside the box in vigorous situations. Computers can't. Computers will do exactly what they're told to do and nothing less, nothing more. This can obviously cause a problem. Uh, for example, if there's some sort of unexpected or unknown failure on the aircraft, the computer is not going to know how to deal with this problem when a pilot, you know, potentially could have. This is why this is rather uh, why this is rather a rather big point regarding why pilots should stay on the flight decks. One of the things that pilots uh, can't go against what they're instructed to do. It's just kind of the flip side to the last point. Uh, for example, if there's like a some sort of failure that is not a common failure, it's a rare failure. Um, the pl the plane will fix itself. Um, that's if there's a pilot on board. If not, the plane will get into a lot of trouble. There's going to be um, you know a lot of bad things going on that flight deck if there's a computer that they can't really think outside the box. Anyway, guys, that wraps it up for the video today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. If you wanted some more content just like this with controversial subjects, you can hit subscribe and they will be coming weekly. From myself, Adam Wallace, the PMDG 737 that's actually having LNAV problems right now. And of course, um, I don't know who else to thank. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for your attention. Hope you all enjoyed the video and have a great day. Thank you very much.